This screencast will go over how to use modules within your Canvas course. We're currently at the syllabus page. We're going to head over to the toolbar on the left and find modules. As you can see, nothing is in this page for right now. We're going to change that. Let's press plus module. We're going to give it a name. So I'm just going to say week one. And before I move on, I would like to tell you that modules are the best way to organize your materials. So whether you're organizing it by topic, by unit, by week, by content areas, it is your best mode of organizing your work for your students. All right, so we named this module week one. I'm also going to do a couple more modules so you can see what this looks like. Week two. And let's do a week three. All right, so I have my weeks done here. Now I need to add to these modules. So what do I want my students to do within week one? We're going to go over here to the plus sign. And this is where you'll be able to add things to your module. So in week one, perhaps I want them to complete that area and perimeter assignment that I created earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I'm going to indent it one level and I'm going to add that item to that module. Okay, maybe I also want to add, um, let's do the quiz that we created, the sample quiz. And I'm going to indent that as well. So now I have two items under week one that your students will need to complete. Now I can add as many items as I want. Now these items were already pre-made. You don't have to put pre-made things in there, but it's easier to have the things made and then put them into your modules as you go. What if in week two, we want to have our students do that discussion board that we created? So that was called sample, and we're going to indent one level. And then let's see, maybe we want our students to go to that certain page that we had. Um, I don't even know what we named it. I'm just gonna do safe online talk because it's there and make sure it's indented one level and we're gonna add item. So now we have four different items underneath three different weeks. Now you can indent these more if you so choose. Okay, increase and decrease indent. You can edit them, you can duplicate the assignments, whatever you'd like to do. There's options here. You can also say, well, we didn't quite get to area and perimeter in week one, so I'm going to click and drag it down to week two. Okay. Um, as you can see, you could have added any of those items that are already within Canvas. Okay. At a later date, um, not at a later date, but in a later video during the advanced or intermediate lessons, you will be able to find out more about these items within modules. Okay. Um, but if you didn't have something already created on a page, but you knew that you wanted something on a page for this particular week, you could just give it a name, add that item. Okay, so now it's test. And when you click on that, it's going to be blank. So then you can start building whatever you wanted. So maybe this was going to now be vocabulary week two. And then you can start putting your words. Blah, 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 blah. So on and so forth. Save and publish. And now it is published there. When you go back into modules, it will now be vocabulary week two. And I actually um, put it in the correct week when I did that. So um, go ahead and take a look. I do see week two is above week one. So I'm going to then drag that down. Not sure why that happened, but dragging it back down. So as you can see, they move very easily by clicking these um, little buttons here on the left side and just clicking and dragging, okay? As always, this module is not visible to your students. Why? We have not published it yet, okay? If I go ahead and click that, now my students will be able to see that. I'm gonna do that with this rest of my modules. The last thing I want to talk to you about is um, student view, okay? So I'm actually going to unpublish week two so you can see what I mean. I'm gonna go down into settings and over off to the right, you'll see student view. Now remember, the width of my screen might be different than yours, so your menu that I see 
here might be on the bottom of your screen. So go ahead and take a look. We're looking for student view. And as you can see, I now have a perimeter of my screen as pink and it tells me that I'm logged into student view. So now I can go in and see what my students see. So let's take a look at modules. As you can see, week one and week three are available to us because I unpublished week two, it is no longer visible to students. Okay, so at any point in time while you're working inside of Canvas, you can use Student View to see exactly what your students will see on their end. Simply leave Student View, and then you're back in your editing mode as a teacher. All right, that is all for modules. Um, if you want to learn more about modules, you can go ahead and look at our intermediate and advanced videos. If you have questions, please let us know.